Hi everybody, this is Random Terry coming to you again from my dining room table. Um, and my coffee bar. So, as you saw in the thumbnail, I've had a little uh, faux pas with this haul. But luckily it's from Timu and it didn't cost me that much. And it was my own fault. And we will get to that. Um, but we do have mostly doggy items here today. And there are a couple things that aren't. And it's just a couple, so I threw them in with this haul. And the first thing being is my shirt. And I don't know if you can see that. I can't really stand up that well. But it's a t-shirt. It's got a pocket. Those are the only colors on it. It comes down. It's not sleeves. It's like a... I can't put my arm up that. Yep, nope. Ain't going up any further than that. So it's like... It's not a set-in sleeve. It's just kind of a rounded cut. Got the pocket cute it isn't really doesn't line up and this shirt has a seam down the middle of the back too right which some a lot of my Timu shirts have and the stripes don't line up in the back either so that is what it is as they say uh, but it is so comfortable I really like it and they had two other colors and the two other colors of stripes are in my cart I think one was like a cream like the cream color, maybe more of a brownish, or maybe more brownish like this, and then white, red, and blue, or creamy red and blue, with a little of that tan in there too. Like these would be red and blue. There we go, like that. So it almost looks red, white, and blue, but it's not that bright red, white, and blue, but it still gives you that Americana look. So, um, and then the other one is just different, different shades of blue in the stripes. And I don't know if there's brown in there too, but they're really comfortable and really, I didn't think that the size 22 would fit me, but it does. Um, and it does kind of have a little bit of a rounded end and it does come down, uh, just, it comes down to cover my bottom a little bit, which is good because nobody wants to, needs to see, nobody needs to see that. Let me tell you, I don't even like to see it. So that's where we are with that. Oh, and did I tell you the shirt was, did I tell you what the shirt was? Let me find it here. $8.49. So yeah, that's what I paid. And I think it's cheaper now, actually, when I put the other two in my cart. I might need to get that before I, they don't have it anymore. And my hair has been windblown today and doggy chewed. And then the dog fell into my lap. Not in my lap, but right on my chest here when I'm sitting in the recliner. His hind legs were standing on the console. And he had his body laying here with his head over here. And he fell asleep. I'm like, oh, this is how it's going to be, huh? So, uh, he was happy. I was happy. It was all good. So, I feel all pulled out of shape because we had a good play session too and I think he's sleeping now on somebody else's lap okay let's get to this Got my cheat sheet here okay so the first couple things let's start off with the first thing and I'll put it together and then the rest of the stuff I can throw in it so the first thing is it's like a doggy toy box and it was $5.38. Or, yeah, $5 and I think I have to put it together. So let's put it together. And caution, caution, there's going to be crinkling. All right. It has wooden handles. I guess it's not that much put together. And it's kind of like a, almost like a heavy duty felt kind of fabric. Cool. That way and inside. And you pop it open. And how do I know this is a doggy toy box? Dog toys. And this is a pretty decent size, size too. Like, yeah. So let's see. I think these just slide in. Oh boy. <laughs> I 
they don't go in easy but they do go in I can just see Cosmo chewing on the handles we shall see at least it only cost me five dollars and 38 cents oh my okay if you stretch that out it does go in if you force it in there and once it's in I guess it's pretty well <laughs> yeah let's try this way I bet you could after you get it in there slide a little hot glue gun or some E2000 or E I forgot the number E6000 oh because I got the Timu brand of B7000 or whatever it is and I was going to do a let's try it out video that's why I've been looking at the numbers and stuff I still have to film that I want to do it with like some pieces of glass okay so one handle is in and it's in there pretty good and then you'd get the other handle in on the other side and it would be really cute and hopefully it will stay open a good part of the time let's see if I can do this a little quicker Yeah. Maybe, maybe not. Let's see. Can I, can I, can I, can I? Yeah. I'm getting it there quicker. Yeah, that's better. Practice with the first one. So there's the little doggy toy thing. And I'll just put that over there. And I can throw the rest of the stuff that we have here in there. So... There was the toy box. Okay, the next thing we have is a bark collar. Bark controlling collar. Suitable for different breeds. And this works. And inside this little box, it's not a shock collar. They have, okay, I cut off the, and what I did was cut off the end and then took a lighter and it kind of fused the ends together there. So that's garbage. It came nicely padded. It came with a spare battery, a battery and then a spare battery. So two of them. And then some little tools to like adjust the little prong type things. And then a manual, a little manual, which is very easy to read. And I will show you what this, okay, just in the belt. If I can show this and it doesn't get glary, but it tells you there, like the first bark, it just gives you, I think a beep. And the second bark, it gives you a longer beep and the third bark, it gives you a little longer beep and I think a vibration. So that's all it does is vibrate. Kind of like a pager. So it does not shock. I did not have to put them on it too long. There's all kinds of little things in there. And let me show you how it works. Oh, this bark collar. 944 and I know if you buy these other wear like on Amazon other places rather yeah it's gonna be more than that I've looked so number one there's the battery case so you'd like pull that out and it's kind of hard to get it out but there's the little battery It's nice that it's in there and kind of snug. And then it will clip back in, right? And then the collar will come back over and when it's around the dog's neck, you can't get in that battery case. Okay, and on, let's see, this side, there's an up and down that shows, I forget if that's the, um, intensity or, or sound because I'm gonna try it out here in a minute. So on the inside, there are little they're prongs. They're just like round things 
that go up against. They do not hurt even. And I don't put the color on that hard. So it's a training tool is what it is. So those little things, and I'll tell you how it works. So these are the up and down things on the other side. Negative, positive, you need to turn it for sensitivity, I guess. That's it. So in that little hole in the front would be, I guess, the microphone. So you hear it or it hears the barking. So let's give this a try because it says to blow in that little hole. Okay, that was the first bark. Continued to bark, a little longer. A bark, longer. And just one little zzz, vibration, it's vibration. So, and let's see. Sorry. But yes, yeah, like a pager. And the more he barks, the longer it gets. I had him on. I had this on him a couple times, and he got way back on the barking. I took it off. I haven't used it for like over a week. So it's basically train him not to. If he starts kicking in and barking some more, I will start using it again. I do not use it all day. Usually. Most of the day, like if I see him, he's taking a nap, I take it off him, put it back on when he starts to play, because that's when he barks a lot. Um, at night, I take it off. It's not on him. So, <clears throat> that's been working. That works. So, I'm sure there's some dogs that it probably wouldn't work for, but, yeah. It does work on Cosmo. The first time it did, it like beeped, and he was like, what is that? And then I guess the next time when it did give the vibration, he was like, yeah. So it basically startles them more than anything. It didn't, didn't hurt. He didn't yelp, nothing. So, um, which is good. I even tested it out before I even put it on him. So 944 for that. All right. And now we're getting into, while we're on collars, I bought three little... Three more little collars. Oh, I could have used this one this weekend. He could have been dressed green. I think that might be why I ordered it and didn't put it on him. So I got these collars because they were 98 cents each. And the one that I had kind of broke. I mean, they are plastic, but it was my own fault that it broke. And it didn't break. I mean, the collar is still usable. But... The, when I put on the um, the leash, instead of putting it through the D-ring, <laughs> I put it through here, through the bell hole. So when he pulled, that just bent right open, and he popped off of it, and it scared me because I thought he was going to run away. But he saw the little ball fly, and then he stopped for a minute to look at that ball, and I grabbed him before he got the little bell and uh, was able to bring him back in. So that didn't, yeah. Oh, I think it did come apart like right in there because it's not, um, it's not sewn together there. Um, so it came apart, but I put, I put the, my like E6000 on it and clamped it and it's fine. But I just figured I have some more just to, to have on hand and they are adjustable, 98 cents. Very good. And you think more of the bell be a cat. Because you could use these for cats too. But I think the bell, we can keep an eye on where he is. <laughs> you can hear him coming. So, alright. And we'll just move right on with the collars. We will move right on with the collars. What did I have in the thumbnail? I had a collar. And I have to tell you, it's a pretty nice collar. Right? Has this, well... Yeah, has his name on it, right? Has my phone number under here, right? It has the area code and the people that live near me. You can tell what the mistake was on that. The rest of the numbers are okay. That number, people that live near me, local to me, will know that it's 541, not 514. 
And I was like, oh, they made a typo. And I went back on my order and I looked and I was like, no, that's what I put in, 514. So at least this was only, where are we? This was $4.94. So I was gonna ask for like a refund type thing, but I decided just to get another one because it was my fault and I own it. It's my fault. But it it like it's really nice for that much money. And you buy something like this and have them embroider it somewhere else, it's gonna cost you more than five bucks. I mean, look at that. And it is um on there, kind of smooth in the back. Yeah, right on through. Double thickness, too. So, that's nice. This is a little sturdier one. It's got the clip there. It is adjustable. And this is a little wider than the other ones. So, we'll get one. Because his rabies tag, it's on the one now that he just got his rabies shot yesterday. And um, I put it on there and he keeps trying to mess with it. So if I put another tag on that has his name, my name, his name, my number on it, he might kind of really be annoyed by that. Be weighed down and be a heck of a lot. So this, this is cool. <coughs> so we have the collars out of the way. Yeah. Yeah. My own fault. And then we'll move right on into this. So, let me bring them all out here. This dog is spoiled. Yep, he's spoiled. Let me just get everything out. <clears throat> okay. We will start with, oh, that's like just sealed in, isn't it? It's a toy. Do I take it out? Yeah, I'll take it out. I have scissors for that one. That was good. And this is kind of like, oh yes. That's like a sturdy, it's not hard. Good. It's like a rubber teething kind of toy. And it's got the little fabric on it for him to chew on. <coughs> Maybe he'll stop chewing on his leash. So we've got the star. And I don't think I could pick like a color. I think it was just because I think these did come in other colors. The pink and the blue, I believe, but they gave me what they gave me. I could choose, I think, a heart or a star, but the color was not selectable. Otherwise, I would have selected something different. So, we've got that, and we've got the little heart. Good gravy. Come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> sure, I'll bring it up. Okay. Cool. I like they have little nubs on this side, and they've got texture there for his chewing pleasure. All right? And then the star has a little texture with stars around it. So. There they are. And I'm going to put those back in here in one bag. Hopefully they both fit in one bag. Keep them together. Yeah. Oh, I did not tell you how much these were. They were, let's see, okay, the star was $1.38. The heart was $1.69. So they both came in <clears throat> under $2 each. Yeah. Yeah, actually, before he goes and chews on them and stuff, these are probably keep them clean in the plastic. So, toys going in the toy box. Doggy, doggy toy box. Now, <clears throat> it's another toy. Go figure. It's a little toy. This toy is toy. Yeah, it's just a little fishy. Cute. And uh, you know what? This would be cute if I forget what else they have. Do they have just the fish? Even so, I think they were different colors that you could get. That has like a little loop on it. 
it is kind of, yeah, you can see through it there, a little loop. This would be cute. It was $1.98 if you got several of them and you could make a mobile, 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 to hang over like a baby's crib. I don't know if people do that still anymore, but um, I just thought it was cute. That's a kind of a good idea. I made a mobile once for my son. And do you remember those little, they're a little, well, they came bigger too, but they're like the satin kind of balls, Christmas balls, Christmas ornaments. And there were satin, one was like a, a green, but not too Christmassy green, more a little bit lighter, close to lime, but not quite lime. And the other ones were red. And one day I was in the kitchen and I got something, I made a hook out of some wire. I don't know where I got the wire that was good for this. I could bend it, but it would still um, be sturdy enough. And I made a mobile. I hung that, one down one side, one on the other side, and then one off of that, one off of that, and then one off each side of that. And it was kind of cool. And I hung it over my son's bed, and it, it was just cool. And I think I still have that somewhere. I was heck trying to pack it up. But I did, and I don't think I would get rid of it. Just one of those things. Back when I crafted, I don't do that much anymore. All right. Yep. It's another toy. It's a raccoon. And it doesn't have stuffing. Nope, no stuffing. Squeaky in the tail. Squeaky in the head. And this raccoon was two ninety eight. And I think the dog's going nuts on my husband's lap because he says, hold on, slow down. Because he heard that. So I'm just going to hang this over here and kind of hang it off the end of the table and see if he comes and gets it. So that little raccoon, $2.98, yeah. Like we need another raccoon and no more toys. I should show you a picture of the toys. <gasps> Is that it? Do you want this? Do you want this? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, you can get up here, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, Cosmo, come on. Come on, you can jump up here. Come on. Come on. You want it? Come on. Come on up. Come on. You can jump up here. You can do it. Come on. Come on. Come get it. Come get it. Come on. Come on. You can taste it. I know you can. You can smell it. It's just out of reach. Come on, Bubby. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. He's not going to jump up. Come on. You want this? you got to come up and get it. It's on my lap. Right here. He's not coming up. He's very interested. Come on, come on. You can do it. Come on, come on, come on. Come on up, come on, come on, come on, come on. I was gonna help you. Show everybody your new, um, your new halter. You gonna come up, come on. You want this? It's gonna be right there. Come on, come here. There we go. Come on, buddy. There we go. Help you up there. So, here's Mr. Cosmo. Here's Mr. Cosmo. Here's Mr. Raccoon. And he is very interested in that. Oh, yes. That's your raccoon. And notice he's wearing his little red harness we got from Timu. That turned out to be very nice. Very good. He likes it. He likes it better because I have a strappy one from Walmart. And he doesn't like it. I have a picture of him. He's kind of sitting, turned away from me on the doggy bed, and he's kind of barely looking around at me with his ears down and stuff like he did something wrong. Oh my goodness. Are you going to get that? Get it. Get it, Cosmo. And I guess you would call him a super chewer. Yeah, that's why I got so many toys and stuff, because I like to have him around the house a bit. Do you want to get down? Take that down with you? Go play? Woo! There, oh, there you go. Go play. Okay. Whew. 
Okay. He roughs me up a bit. So. It's another one. And, you know, at the prices, the raccoon, $2.98. The, you know, Heart and Stars, $100. This pink octopus, $2.78. And I thought that was cool. Let's see, four, five, six. Oh, six around here and two there. So I guess she does have eight legs. I don't think there was a... Um, Yep, it's got a squeaky in it too. So, and this, that raccoon and this, the eyes are embroidered on. I like that. That one duck that I, oh, you want the other one too? One at a time, dude. One at a time. Where's your raccoon? There you go. Sorry. But, yeah. Did I tell you? This was a dollar sixty-eight. Yeah. This is where... You know, the dogs chew through things. Um, finally pulls them apart. This does have stuffing in it, though. Um, but there's plenty of things, tentacles, to chew on for him. And even up here, he likes that kind of stuff, the little things. Um, and by the time he chews through them and stuff, for $1.98, I can get another one to replace it and not be spending 7 bucks for something like this at a pet store. So, or even Walmart. I think I got a little bear and I think it was five bucks or something. Doggy, little doggy, I think. So, and I think we're winding up with the dog toys. There was another one. Uh, I don't know if anybody remembered the duck that I hauled. He looked like chenille. Or no, it wasn't the duck. Piggy. Was it a piggy? Or the duck? I forget. Hauled the one, but I bought another one. If it was the piggy I showed you, I bought the duck. It was the duck. I brought the piggy. And he got the eyes off of that one, too. So, because they were sewn on like this one. Hmm. Oh. A stretchy neck. And I think this is a, a duck. Yep, a green duck. $2.44. Yep, I'll have to trim, trim that off. Oh, yeah. There's a squeaker in that. I always got to find them. The little feet, the little neck that has got elastic in it, except these eyes are what was on the piggy and the duck. Kind of like that. And he worked on them and worked on them until he pulled them off. So, but I thought that was cute. For a dollar, or two forty four. dollars Yeah. All right. Hey, don't push it off. Mister, you got your raccoon. Play with your raccoon. Right here. You want interaction, don't you? Yes, you do. Oh, get that. Okay. So, and then moving on. Yes, I've got a nice size bowl. This bowl was $3.98. And I thought I got a bigger bowl for his pen to give him water because he drinks more water for that little tiny one that we got. called Pets Bowl, and it's just a plastic bowl, and I don't know how, <clears throat> it just says green, it doesn't tell you how much is in it, because the other one was so little, so I thought I'd get a, another bowl for him, um, but I have a ceramic one that I had out, but I picked that one up because I got that automatic water dispenser for the pups, which if you saw that in my haul, that's like the best thing I bought. That's just, that's, I love that thing. They love that thing. They were a little bit scared. My older dog kind of, I heard him skidding across the floor when, when the thing glugged at him. <laughs> he was drinking so much that the air replacement made like a glug, glug, glug sound. And I heard that and I heard him shh, spin across the floor <laughs> on the way away from it. So, uh, so I could use... The ceramic one that I replaced for that in the kit, in the pen rather, and then like for Toby's food bowl, um, Cosmo has a slow feeder. Oh, don't stuck up to me now. Are you giving me kisses? You like your toy? Hmm. Yeah. Little paw too. Kisses and a little paw on my now wet elbow. Um. So, what was I saying? 
the bowl situation. Now I have a lot of bowls. The little tiny blue one, it was only like a little, almost looks like a cat bowl. They were cheap. I got that when Toby was a puppy and it was fine in there. And then he started needing more water. And then I thought he wasn't drinking out of the feeder for a while there, but then he did and now he, he drinks out of it. Um, so I picked up the water bowl for that feeder and I had a metal bowl for Toby to eat in. I have a slow feeder for Cosmo to eat in. I put, I separate them because yeah, that's not gonna happen. Um, and then, <laughs> so I have an extra bowl. And then I have now a really pretty metal stand that has ceramic bowls in it that a friend gave me probably for Cosmo, but it sits next to the water and I put both their foods in it. One says thirsty in it, one says hungry in the bowl. They're really cute. So I have an abundance of bowls. I have two metal bowls from Toby, the two little plastic bowls from Toby when he's smaller, the water, this bowl that I just showed you, which could be donated, I don't know. Um, so I have a lot of bowls. I have two slower, slow feeders too. So so for $3.98, that was a pretty good bargain, and it feels pretty sturdy. I'm sure a dog could probably chew on it because it is plastic. So, but I thought it was just bigger for, and it's like, it's planted, so it doesn't tip as easy. So. <sighs> Those are the doggy things. And now I have a couple more items that are not doggy related. I'm trying to move this plastic stuff without being noisy. Guess what it is? It is an Easter card for $2.87. That's even cheaper than some of them I've seen or have bought before. I have them for probably almost all holidays. I'm going to leave the envelope in there. <clears throat> so it's a, a yellow envelope. Just a yellow envelope. <clears throat> the card is nice and it's a pretty purple on the outside. And then, I mean, this is like cut out and the little bunny is printed on another piece of paper behind it. And so are the, um, the flowers and the bunny and the egg are all cut out of the purple. So it's not printed on there, that's cut out. And then there's a picture of those in the back. And then, I have not opened this yet. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, so cute. There's your bunny and your egg. And here is your bunny in your basket. That's really pretty inside that card. That is cute. It's like a tree or something in there. The 3D of these are just so cool. And they'll fold back up. Look at the bunny. Nothing on the back except some sort of little emblem. I don't know what that is. Maybe it's a hallmark of whoever made them. Ah, got that? So, <clears throat> there's that card for $2.87. I'm not sure where it's going. Well, maybe I know where it's going, but I don't know for sure. So, that's it. And then the last item, last, last item here. I've got a couple of brushes. It's a pair of them. And I saw them, and they kept coming through. My feed kept popping up, because I probably looked at them once, and then they show them to me all the time. They are very narrow brushes. Like, to get in windowsill tracks bathroom door tracks but they're I mean like super thin see how thin they are and I thought they were bigger than this but they don't really need to be bigger than this and I've got two of them so I can stash them like one in the bathroom 
cabinet in my little um, cleaning bin and one like in my cabinet where all my other cleaning supplies are. So they're a kind of, they're kind of a cheap brush. I mean, you can see the, the um, type of bristles. They're just those cheap old bristles and just a piece of metal that's clamping them in. But if they do the trick, that's all you need. And they're pretty firm too. So you'll be able to get that grime right out of there. So, and these were $2 and 24 cents. So $1.12 for each of them. I guess that's worth it. We'll see how they work. <clears throat> so I think they might have had other colors too. I don't know. Which might have been nice. Did they have white? I'm not sure. But white might have been nice to get. So when you're cleaning, you can actually see what you're pulling up. That might be nice. But I didn't get them. At least I think it was white. I'm not sure. I can't be so sure on that. So... So that is my Timu haul for today. And I do have to tell you, I came across something else. I'm now a member of the Timu circle. Yeah, that's $3.99 a month. But you can get up to, when you place your orders, I think you can get a percentage back. It depends, like zero to 49, you get 4% back. 49 to something else, you get a higher percent back. And up to 100, you get I guess more back, but only up to $20 and they credit you with that, which is, that's great. In addition to price adjustments that you do. And then like at least four times a month, cause I think they have like periods each week period, I believe, or whatever. Um, I get a free item with my purchase. So I selected another doggy harness for Cosmo, maybe in a larger size. Cause if he grows bigger, he'll have one. Um, and then I think on the 27th, this is why I think it's weekly, on the 27th, there'll be a second freebie that I can click on and select. And you get to select them from a list. So there were some things on there. I can't remember what else. Actually something, something that I ordered, I think I my last haul, there was like, striped sweater no that wasn't on there I forget I forget what was on there something that I bought there was a shirt there was a random random amount of stuff there that was on there but now I'm babbling and then I'm going to leave you with a a little clip of Cosmo being Cosmo um, I think I'm going to put the one on there I don't know what clip it's going to be I have to see what my last one is. So, there'll be a clip of Cosmo. I think it's just, I'll, it, one on my bed, he finally is on my bed now, he gets up there and he really likes it because he'll, he'll work around and try to pull my blanket together, my fleece blanket, and kind of pull it together like, and he's making this little circle, trying to get his little nest, and then he walks up to the pillow and lays down and goes to sleep. So I guess my blanket was just not adequate for him, but my pillow was better and he just felt like he had the place, the best place in the house to sleep. And I have to say, I think it is because it's where I sleep. So um, I'll leave you with that. And until next time, bye.